Hello, Roboteers! Welcome to the Robotics Parlor. I'm Zofia, and today we will be talking about innovation in robotic muscle. One of the great challenges for roboticists is making something that works just as well as a human hand. And researchers at Saarland University have come just a little bit closer. They've made a hand that uses a robotic muscle made out of ultra-fine nickel-titanium alloys. Now what these alloys are is their shape memory alloys, which means that after they're bent out of shape, if heat is applied, they'll go back to their original shape. They sort of remember it. What the researchers have done is they've made a skeletal hand based on the human hand and then strung the ultra-fine wire along it like the position of human muscles. Then they'll apply a voltage which will give heat to the wire and that'll cause it to expand and contract. Also, the resistance of the wire changes as the position changes. The researchers can then measure this and use it to figure out exactly where each part of the hand is. These hands are lighter, quieter, have finer control and are more flexible than motor-based hands. They're also more energy efficient because of the energy density of the wires. You gotta hand it to them. These roboticists were pretty clever. Another amazing robotic muscle recently developed is a robotic wing. Developed by researchers from the Harbin Institute of Technology in Weiwei, China, and researchers from the University of California, Los Angeles, this wing has a 60 to 90 percent energy conversion rate, meaning it is ultra efficient. What they use is something called a dielectric elastomer. This is a flexible material that also has electrical properties. What it does is it takes electrical energy and converts it into mechanical energy. In this case, the researchers made a joint out of this dielectric elastomer and then started applying a voltage. Most experiments before this one had applied a steady voltage to cause a change in shape. But what these researchers did is they added an alternating voltage. And as the voltage alternated, the joint would start to flap like a wing. This means that we could make incredibly efficient soft robotic birds that would then potentially deliver messages to your friends instead of a text. And for joining me in the robotics parlor. If you want to read about any of these stories, there are links in the description. And thanks to Emin Drive for sponsoring this project. Have a roboterific day!